Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to reset this input key mapping. So here we can customize these keys to whatever we need like this or this and then if I press reset they go back to their default key assignments. So this is what we are going to work on today. How to reset input remappings there or customizations of input we do in the menu using this reset button and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done in my channel from my patreon page once you become a member you can access everything without any limits so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below and here is the full playlist of this series everything is implemented from scratch and explained you can follow these episodes and implement everything by yourself and now let's get back to today's tutorial right so this is what we have at the moment when i go to control i can see these controls and these are customized options so if i say change it back to t it works but reset button is not working if i want to go back to default options and that's what we are going to work on now so to do that here let me go to widgets and open controls option now here since this is a child of this options panel i have already bound an event to this reset button which calls this and it is calling this reset options function and since this is a child of options panel i can override reset options okay now here what i need to do is um well we need to implement the logic for resetting all my options now to reset options here i have this update key mapping and also get input key mappings as well so this only returns this mappings with the array but this part is really important because this part can be used to retrieve all the mappings so here i get enhanced input global layer subsystem and get enhanced input user settings and then from this i can get the active key profile and from this i can access get layer map in rows now these are all the mappings that we have in our game let's run a for each loop here so this for each may not be available in earlier versions earlier than 5.6 in that case you may have to get keys and values and then run a for each loop on one of them and access the if you are running the for each loop on keys you may have to access the values using the index so what we have one loop one for each loop in 516 so it's easier now from this if i'll break here we can get the mappings which is a set i'll get the first one so here we need to make sure you might run into an error if you try to access something that does not exist so let's add a branch to make sure we have elements here then we can access it without any problem now from this if i break this We can get all the details about this mapping. Okay. 
Okay, now let's call this update key mapping. So here we need to pass the mapping name, which I can access from here. I'll use that. And then the key, so new key. So as the key, new key, I'll pass the default key. Uh, if I have customized these settings, that key will be available in the current key. But default key will always have whatever the default key that I have assigned for this particular input action or input axis. And after doing that, after doing this for all the mappings, I can um, call this initialize options again to reinitialize all the all the rows that show displays all the inputs but here since we already have called this function i will already have these option key widgets added to scb options so to prevent duplicating at the beginning I'll do this SCB options clear all mappings. No, sorry, not mappings. Clear children. So in case you don't, don't understand, these entries are added to a scrollable uh panel. Let me show you. This one, SCB option. This is a scrollable. This is a scroll box, and all the options that I create here are added to that. But when I want to redo the initialize option, I need to make sure that earlier elements that I have added into the scroll box is cleared to avoid duplication. Okay, so that's why I did this. Right now, things. I think that's all we need to do. Let's check. Settings, controls. So here we have J for jump. So if I go reset, see, move forward is W and jump is a space. So it's working. And then if I stop the game and come back, controls, see, move forward is W, move backward is S. Move left A, move right D. So these are there. We have the default options. Let me change again to test. Back, stop. See, this one has T. If I go reset, it's back to W. Stop the game. Come back. Controls. See, we have the default options. Okay, so it's working. Right, so that's all I wish to cover in this episode. And next time, let's work on maybe this apply button. Or if I try to go back without applying, maybe we should get a pop up that says you have unchanged, unsaved changes, something like that. And do you want to apply those things or cancel? And also, we need to make sure, let's say, for example, if I press space again, this is a conflict. So we need to identify conflicts and maybe unassign this so we can force user to assign a new key or reset. So we need to look into those things also in upcoming episodes. So thanks for watching. As always, updated red files will be available in my Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in another episode. Goodbye.